Okay, we're doing the um, Earth Sign Love Reading for the month of March. For the month of March 2019. First, we're going to look at the Taurus. So we're going to be looking at Taurus Sun Moon Horizon sign for the love reading for the month of March. So let's see what is happening for the Tauruses in their love life. So, hey, welcome and welcome. <laughs> this is the love reading for the Tauruses Sun Moon Horizon sign for the month of March 2019. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Let's see what is happening for you guys. Let's see what's happening for you guys. Okay. So, all right, um, love reading. Let's see, we're calling up on the angels of love, Archangel Raphael, and all the legions of angels of love, Archangel Shamuel, and all of the love angels to come up, the, angel, the um, angels and being who watch over the Taurus, the sun, moon, and rising. We want to see what is coming up for love. For the Taurus is in the month of March. Welcome, everyone. Let's see what is happening. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. This is the love reading. Okay. All right. Um, I'm doing them live online because um, as of March, I'm going to be doing the love readings, and I'm doing live on March. So thank you for being here. I've done the hair sign. They're going to be published um soon. So now we're doing the earth sign. This is the love reading for the month of March. 2019 the first week there is some past life love so some ex could be coming back into your life so be aware of this check out the general reading also for the love reading for the bunch of March because obviously there's a lot that is going to be happening to you guys especially you Tauruses and I saw that you Tauruses could be meeting your twin flame and soulmate in a general reading so let's see if it's going to be affecting you guys so in the first week there is some past life situation past like love situation that is going to be coming in so let's see what is going to be happening okay so that is in the first week so past life love is coming up in the first week in the second week um um the ladies young ladies and this is between the age of 18 and 45 um you're here also so some of you could be meeting someone in the past life so young ladies between the eight the ages of 18 and 45 there could be some situation that is coming up for you okay in the third week the energy of the young man is here whoever this person is um this is also between the ages of 18 and 45 so you young men and young ladies especially in love you could be um um you know returning to a past love you could be returning to a past love yes um, whoever this person is that is coming back in your life, this past love, it could be an ex, but it could be someone from a past lifetime. Okay, whatever the situation is, this is true love. It is, you know, whoever this person is that is coming back is a true gem to you, and we're going to be looking to see who this person is. Okay. So this is beautiful for you Tauruses you have past love it's going to be affecting the young people this past love is definitely definitely going to be affecting the young people whatever is transpiring it's going to be affecting the young people okay so past life in the first first week and it has to do with um, um, if you're um, okay if you're you know you see it on the card a fair skinned male or the, um, with blue eyes and, and that sort of a thing, it's going to be affecting you. This past love is going to be coming um, back in your life, okay? So, definitely. And um, this person has kids. Whoever this person is, they have kids, okay? So, whoever you are, if you're blonde hair, blue eyes, um, or it could be um, just a young person. You could be um, between the ages of 45 and older if you have blue eyes. Definitely, you're going to be reconnecting with a past love. And um, it could be your child's mother, you know, that sort of a situation. It could be a child's mother, you know, that sort of a thing. 
All right, ladies, twin name are coming in. So definitely, because go back to the general reading and check out the general reading whenever they're online and upload. Um, there in the general reading, um, it was the Tauruses, Virgo, and Capricorns are going to be meeting their soulmate. And here it comes back in the soulmate, the, in the reading for you, Tauruses. So obviously you ladies are going to be meeting a soulmate. This soulmate could be someone with blue eyes. Okay. Or it could be blonde with red hair. Okay. But it's definitely someone with a, a color eyes, green, blue, um, hazel eyes, green. You're definitely going to meet that person. What else is coming up? Uh, gossip. There's a lot of gossip. Be careful. A lot of gossip. A lot of gossip. We'll see and we'll find out who is gossiping. <laughs> okay. All right. For the young males, what is happening with the young males? Control. You're very controlling. So some of you young males out there, and these are people between the ages of Oh, 18 to uh, 18 to 30. You're very controlling. Um, some of you, there is a whole lot that is going on with you, Taurus is uh, in the love reading this month of March. There is also going to be the ladies, ladies, <laughs> this is the ladies between the ages of 30 and 45 or even older. And this is the ladies, they date a lot of people. They're in love with a lot of people. They date a lot of people. So you have the dating queen. So you could be the dating queen. You could be the person that is having all these relationships and you date a lot of people. Woo, girl. <laughs> okay, it's uh, be careful because your friends are gossiping about you. Be careful, you Tauruses. If you're a dating queen and you're always like having a lot of different guys and that sort of a thing, be careful especially if you have a family because your friends are gossiping about you oh yeah okay let's look at the fourth week the true jam what is that mean it's a karmatic situation so some of you are going to be meeting someone and this person you feel as if they're the true one they're like the diamond you know they have no blemish they are so perfect. That is the person for you. You are going to be meeting this person and as if that is the person for you, okay? And what is going to be transpiring is that it's a karmatic situation that you're clearing. And the other message is that some of you are living a open relationship. Some of you want a open relationship, okay? And this is the dating queen. This is the person who have three or four different person they're running at one time. Okay, that's the dating queen, but a lot of people are gossiping over you, so you gotta be careful. You, you um, so the energy in this month, the outcomes of this month, and the energy in this month is all about you feeling young and vibrant. You know, it's about you feeling young and vibrant in your love life, and you know, you're feeling good about yourself. This is what it's all about. You're feeling as if, if even you're you know, um, 45 or so, 35, but you're feeling young. You're feeling young and alive. You're looking for someone who's young and alive, okay, for you Tauruses. So this is good. This is really, really good for you guys in this month. It's going to be so, so positive because you're going to have such um, a hopeness of you want to connect. So for the singles, it's a month to go out and mingle, okay? For the singles, it's a month to go out and mingle. Okay, so I'm going to look. The central of what is going to be happening in love life of the Tauruses, it's all about the energy of the soulmate, but there is also some control issues that some of you have to deal with, okay? So some of you are going to be dealing with soulmate and some of you are going to be dealing with some control issues okay so be aware of this you Tauruses because in this month of March these control issues and whatever is going on you're going to be having problems if you're in a soulmate relationship because you're being very controlling okay and some of you could be meeting your soulmate but some of you could be having control issues in relationship and this is going to be with young people 
Okay, the young people are definitely going to be having these sort of controlling issues. And uh, um, what you need to do is to basically, um, you know, focus yourself and um, know if you have so much control in a relationship, you actually kill the relationship. Okay, you have to know when to hold on and when to let go. Okay, um, men with blue eyes. Um, blue eyes, gray eyes, green eyes, and that sort of a thing. Right here, people. Um, what is going to be happening is that you're going to be meeting your soulmate. Um, and you are going to be having some control issues, and this is coming from a past lifetime. Okay. Um, so you have to um, be aware of that because these control issues are definitely coming from a past time and you are in this lifetime to release these um, controlling issues that you're dealing with, okay? So, some of you, um, you dating queens and uh, whether men or women, um, these are the people who have date three or four people at a time or more. Um, there is a lot of gossip. Your girlfriends are gossiping over you and especially if you have kids your girlfriends are gossiping over you okay and um it's not very nice what they're saying so be aware of this okay so if you're married and you have kids or you're not married and you have kids um and you date like three four different people at a time your girlfriend is having a field day over you. They are gossiping over you. And um, some of you women um, between the ages, some of you want open relationships. Some of you uh, really want open relationship. And why? It's because you, you the control that is happening to you you feel as if you don't want anyone to control you. Some of you want to open a relationship because you feel as if I don't want anyone to control me. As the men is playing the control role, the younger women do not want the control. So they want open relationships, okay? So you're going to be realizing that if you're between the ages of 18 and 30 to 35, you want to have just a normal relationship. You don't want anyone to control you if you're a woman. But the men on the other side, you are being very controlled and this is an issue that you need to let go, okay? Because it's a karmatic issue that comes back in your life. What I'm saying is that there are some of you young men between the ages of 18 and 30, 35, um, you're gonna be meeting your, your soulmate. And some of you already have kids, but you're going to be meeting your soulmate and you're going to be like joining kids, joining the reunion of your kids and their kids. Um, so this is going to be good. Whatever is going to be transpiring, this is going to be good uh, because um, it is going to be a positive reconnection of soulmates and their kids, which is positive. Some of you, a past love is coming back that is a soulmate. And um, you people who are dating more than um, one people are going to be meeting your soulmate uh, um, and they're coming in because they're coming from a past love. It's as if... Uh, this soulmate, you have had a past relationship. This is um, someone from your past life, the soulmate that is coming in, okay? Always, soulmate is always from a past life, but it's a past love. The love that you hold together is still strong, okay? As we look at what um, surround and crown the open relationship is that... Uh, um, the dating queens, they just want to have open relationship. They don't want to be stuck with anyone. They don't want to be controlled by anyone. Um, they are working on a karmatic situation that is coming in, okay? It's, so it says they were in a, long, um, a bad relationship in a past lifetime, and they come back in just to date a lot of people that have open relationship um, so that they can clear some karma. And this is why I always said to people, don't judge other people because you don't know what do they, what is, what are they working on? Okay. So some people will see this person and have been um, a lot of gossip and speaking about this person, but you don't know what their journey is on. Okay. Cause you have some women that just want to date a lot of people and have open relationships and men, women and men there, you have them all. So we can't really put, um, we can't really put like, yeah, this is so not good or whatever, but it depends on 
you know, if you know that you are someone who wants to date a lot of people, don't get married and don't have kids because it's just going to look bad on your husband or wife or, and having kids. Um, then it's going to affect the kid, the kid's life because they see you live like this and they don't understand it. Okay. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's just how you do it. We're going to look at past life and see what is coming up for the past life people and the people in the first, um, the things that are going to be happening in um, this month that may affect you in the first week for some of you, some of you might affect you in the second week. Okay, so this past life love, whatever is happening and transpiring with this past life love, um, definitely, definitely, whatever is transpiring and happening with this past time, love. Um, the energy of the eye princess is it's as if both of you spirit guides are bringing you two back together, okay? So, if you realize that someone from your past is coming back, or you're going to be meeting someone from a past life, because this is definitely you have met this person in a past life, you were having a relationship with this person in a past life, and they're going to be returning in your life and they're going to try to heal whatever the situation that was there in the past life in this um, new. Um, tight span, you know, because each and every person have a contract with each other to heal a situation. And this is just going to be good. Okay. So whoever is coming back, they're coming back to heal a situation from a past life. Let's say that that person was very argumental or, um, very, um, they beat you or whatever the situation is. Um, they're coming back to heal that situation. So let them back in. Okay. Some of you people with blue eyes, green eyes, and that sort of a thing, damn, you are going to be meeting your soulmate. And this definitely you're going to be meeting your soulmate. And this is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. So if you will have, and um, you know, the card says, and um, it's going to be you men, you men that have different color eyes, not black and not brown. Um, you're definitely going to be meeting your soulmate and this person is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. This person is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. You're definitely going to be meeting your soul, soulmate. This person is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Uh, that is going to be good. Um, and this relationship is going to be lasting for a long time. So this is like co different color eyes, people. You are the one who are going to be meeting the twin flame and the soulmate. And they're going to be coming back. And definitely you're going to be connecting with them. And it's going to be a long relationship. Children is coming up. And um, some of you could be having some custody battle, okay? Okay. Um, some of you who have kids with a tall, with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion, there could be some uh, custody battle that is coming up. Okay. So be aware of this. Um, it, and some of you could be going after your child's father or mother for money. Okay. So there definitely is a custody battle coming up. And some of you could be going after your child or father. If you're, and some of you are going to be meeting a Pisces cancer or a scorpion. Okay. This is going to be good. It could be that um, you're meeting the, this person at school or meeting this person, but it has something to do with kids. It could be at a child game. You met this person. He's single. You're single. Let's go bingo. <laughs> oh my God. But there's going to be a little gossip. So be aware of that. Okay. So it could be that you guys um, are at a, a game for the kids and you met the, this person. You are single. They're single. But the women all start to gossip. Woo! Mm -mm -mm. Do you know that they are seeing each other? That sort of a thing. But you know, let people gossip because if love was meant to be, it's going to be. Whether or not they gossip, and it's going to be happening, it's going to be happening. All right, young ladies, 18, between the ages of 18 and 35, you're going to be meeting another earth sign. So you Tauruses, um, the Tauruses men and women could be meeting another um, earth sign person. So definitely you young ladies could be meeting another a Taurus, um, a Virgo or a Capricorn, you know, and um, you could be also meeting 
Um, uh, definitely, because this is the same sign, because this is message, and this person is an Aries Leo or Sagittarius is coming in. But what I'm receiving, because the two of pentacles is here, it means it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn that you're meeting, but some of you are going to be meeting an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. This is going to be good for you, Tauruses. If it's another earth sign, if it's a Virgo or a Taurus, it's going to be good, because what is transpiring is that universe is bringing you both together and this is going to be very good so whatever the situation is and whatever that is transpiring this is going to be good because what is happening is that you're definitely definitely going to be meeting someone new and this is going to be good whether it's from your own earth sign of my uh, virgo or a it can be also another Taurus or Capricorn okay but you're going to also meet an Aries now the situation is listen and if you have to make a decision between a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn choose the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn not the air sign because it's not going to it, it, you have to choose between um, an earth sign and a fire sign choose the earth sign okay there is a there, there is a situation that some of you ladies have to deal uh, have to choose between an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius and a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn choose the earth sign okay it's gonna be much better for you you gotta choose the earth sign because it's gonna be much much better for you okay all right let's see what's happening to the soulmate who are going to be uh, meeting their soulmate who how are they going to be coming in form with so, okay there's definitely a situation some of you have met someone um you know that is your soulmate but the person is like they're not ready so it's one of these runaway soulmates it's it's, it's it's one of these runaway soulmates whoever you are out there that is in a, a soulmate relationship you're in a soulmate relationship is a runaway soulmate whatever is happening the soulmate he he you know he's hiding he or she is hiding away from this relationship because they're afraid of this relationship and you are wondering what is it i should do because i know that this man or i know that this person is for me but whatever is transpiring is that he doesn't want to completely connect with me and i want to know why but soulmate relationship is one of the artist relationship ever ladies and gentlemen you need to know this don't give up on this relationship just give it time you are dealing with a runaway soulmate okay he's not he hasn't gone he hasn't run yet but he can okay so just coach him just sit there give him his time let him know um you know it's like a pat on the shoulder okay i know i know this is you're afraid of this relationship but guess what you know that sort of a thing but um you you really need time to deal with this person because he's really um he's afraid of what he's feeling okay whoever this person is a he or a she they're afraid of what they're feeling and you know that it is your twin flame or soulmate but they are afraid so just give them the time okay all right some gossiping is going around you um guys there's a lot of gossiping okay so be aware um ladies and gentlemen be aware because there's some gossiping and this gossiping is coming from people who have kids there are other people that is gossiping about you um people who are dating other people the dating queens and the, and, and and the dating kings they're gossip around you there are other people that is gossiping around you okay so be aware especially young people if you're seeing two or three person at a time be aware hey girl hey 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 hello Hey girl. Um, okay. So if there's a lot of gossip, a lot of gossip. So if you're a dating king or queen, this, these are people who date more than one people. There is a lot of gossip. You're carrying a lot of burdens and you're going to be receiving an offer. Mm -mm -mm, you Taurus. So let them gossip. Let them gossip because someone is coming in for you, baby girl or boy someone is definitely coming in so let them gossip whatever they have to do whatever they have to say let them gossip it is who you are and it is what you do and an offer is definitely going to be coming for you take this offer and all the people that is gossiping about you let them gossip because they will just be staying where they are 
not going anywhere further because they spend their time gossiping and you are moving forward in your life. Love this for you, Tauruses. Love this, love this, love this. Let's see what's going on in third week in love for you, Tauruses. We are dealing with a young man. Mm -mm -mm. All right, you young men who are dealing with, you young men are just going to be having some conflicts with your baby mother or fa baby mother. Okay, so you young men are going to be having some conflicts with your baby mother because what happened is that she knows that you're giving your money out on other women and not bringing in the money for the baby. Okay, you need to take care of your kids. Okay, so you little young men that is gallivanting driving the sports car around you gotta take and remember that you have kids some of you who are dealing with a taurus virgo or a, um, a taurus or a capricorn woman that is your baby mother she's going to take you down because you're not bringing the amount of money home for the baby and she needs some help with the children so less sports car yeah and um yeah you you got it you gotta support your kids whatever is happening I'm not supporting you, Taurus, not supporting your kids. So you, young man, you got to support your kid. Whatever is going on, you just got to really support your kid. I'm not supporting you, Taurus. I love you. But when it comes on to the kids, you got to bring all the money for the baby mother. Okay? They're giving all the money out on um, designer clothes and the rest of it. Uh-uh, your kids come first. Whenever you have a child, you got to remember it's the child comes first. Okay? Love you, Tauruses, but you gotta look about the kids. All right, let's see the people who are dealing with control issues. So, see, some of you Tauruses are dealing, ooh, that is going to be coming down. All right, Tauruses, listen, listen to me, you Tauruses. The control issues that you're having. You need, this is going to be handed, okay? You Tauruses, you got to let go of control, okay? Let me tell you what happened. When you have control in a relationship, you're pushing the person away from you, not even knowing it, okay? So when you're having a control in a relationship, when you're controlling your partner, you're pushing your partner away. And this is what happened when you have control in your relationship. You're telling, yeah, you, and you're, control and you have to call him 20 times per day You're, that's been controlling let it go let it go because if you don't let go of this control issue he's going out there to look for someone else and i'm telling you you know you need to give men freedom as you give men freedom and you know whenever he texts he texts but never call and ask him what he's doing or whatever you give him all the freedom you don't have any control you don't show any control if even you are dying inside let him the one you know hey girl what's up you know but once you all done and you want to know what he's doing that is when men cheat the most because they feel as if they're controlled and you know you want to know everything that you're doing and that is when they cheat the most let it go seven of cups they are going to go out there and look for someone so you got to release this control issue if you don't release it you're going to be losing your man or woman okay don't do it, people. It's sensitive. Humans, we're all sensitive, especially when it comes on to relationship. So we got to know that. Okay, Miss Dayton Queen, our king. Okay, so we have Miss Dayton Queen here. This that doesn't have a Dayton King, but there's a lot of Dayton Kings. So let's happen. Let's see what is happening with Miss Dayton, um, Miss Dayton Queen. What's happening? Because there's a lot of gossip. So some of you out there, ladies who are dating, um, you know, multiple partners, there's a lot of gossip about you, a lot of gossip. And um, the gossip is coming um, from people who are very controlling in their relationships. So let's say that you're a woman who date different, different partners. That is your choice. Okay. But there's a lot of gossip that is coming from your girlfriend, but you're not knowing that they're gossiping about your back. You're, they're talking about you because they're saying, you know, um, look at that. She has her kids and her husband and she's all around and all over the place. She's not, they're not telling you in front of your face, but they're gossiping about you. You're going to be finding out this. You're going to be finding out. Okay. You're going to be finding out that your girlfriends who are basically doing the same thing with you are gossiping behind your back and you're going to be finding out 
Um, <coughs> sorry for more personalized reading. Sorry, it is better um, to ask for a personalized reading than I can tell you exactly who is doing it. But for you ladies who are dating more than you know more than two persons or so and married with uh, and uh, or you have kids, your girlfriends are speaking about you or people around you are talking about you. So keep your own business to yourself, okay? If you're de if you're dating more than more than one person, keep your own business to yourself. Sometimes I know you want to talk to a girlfriend, but she is talking to somebody else, okay? And not. A lot of people are going to be loyal and hold your information. There's a lot of people that will call you up and say, hey, so how was that guy or that guy? They just want to know your business, okay? And as you hang the telephone up, they're going to call and say, hey, I just call, what's their name? And you know, she's seen this and this. So be careful of these women and be careful of what you tell women about yourself because women can be very bitchy. I've seen this. I don't know why. I really don't know why, because we should just love on each other. The feminine energy is coming back. Why are you? This is a woman who knows what she wants. You know, we can't tell people that they need to get married, and we can't tell people that this is the relationship. No, because everyone knows what the journey they came here for. So I'm warning you ladies who are seeing, um, you know, different men and that sort of a thing. Your girlfriend is gossiping behind you. She's stabbing you in the back. And the point why she's doing it is because no one is looking at her. So don't tell anyone your business, okay? All right. Okay, the true gem. Who is the true gem for the Taurus, Virgo, or the Capricorn? Who is the true gem? Who is that love of your life? Who is the true? Okay, so some of you... um thought that someone that was an Aries Leo or Sagittarius was an honest to goodness person. You thought they were so perfect, so good, they have no flaws, because this is the true gem. The, the true gem is that person that you think the world of, okay? That person who you think, oh my God, they could never do any wrong or I couldn't do any wrong for them, okay? And what you're going to be understanding and what is going to be happening is that you're going to be realizing that this true gem is not who you thought she was or he was, okay? You are going to be having um, a surprise at who this person is, whether it is in a relationship, whether it is in a... Um, um, you know, because this could be a, a, um, a good girlfriend or a, a good guy who always have your back. Um, the true gem can come up like that, or the true gem could be because you know, it could be, um, you know, you're a guy, but you have this good friend, and you know, she always have your back, and she, you know, you can tell her, Hey, if my wife called, tell her that I'm here. Um, you're gonna be finding out something that they haven't been who they say they were. They hasn't been as loyal as who you are to them. So that is going to really hit you up because you're going to be finding out that their loyalty is not what you expected, okay? <laughs> Let it go. Just a karmatic situation. Sometimes the people you're loyal to is the people who are stabbing you in your back. Okay. <laughs> um, whoever this person is, and that is it. Never put um, anyone on a pedestal. I've learned that so many times. Oh my God. I have learned that so many times. You know, you have a good girlfriend and you said, oh my God, she's so good. And she's like, uh, and then...